The family is speaking out about the fallen Navy SEAL they know and love. Matt Mills was one of 30 servicemen who were killed when a rocket-propelled grenade struck a military helicopter this weekend. 22 of them were Navy SEALs. Our Jacqueline Inglay spoke with some of Mills' family tonight and has mourned how they're dealing with this tragic loss. David, I did. I met with the family earlier this afternoon. They told me while they're deeply saddened about what happened, they couldn't be prouder of Matt. He actually just called home last week to talk with his little sister. It's something he tried to do every week while deployed. Enlisting in the military is a tradition among men in the Mills family. That's why 36-year-old Chief Petty Officer Matt Mills enlisted in the Navy 15 years ago. For the last 10, he served as a Navy SEAL. He's always loved what he did, and he, um, he told me he couldn't believe he could do this for a living because he loved it so much. Matt was killed early Saturday morning when insurgents fired on a CH-47 Chinook helicopter, like this one seen here, carrying 30 U.S. troops in Afghanistan. I just had a feeling that if, if anything ever did happen to him, it would be en route to something or coming back. Matt grew up in Arlington, Texas, and moved with his family to Bastrop after he graduated from high school. He was a member of the unit known as SEAL Team 6, the same unit responsible for killing Osama bin Laden. He was not on the bin Laden mission, but in a different group. He wasn't boastful at all. He didn't like try and brag about any of the stuff that he had done. Michael says his brother never complained about being deployed more than 13 times. He says he knew his job and wanted to be the best. That's how he was. He wanted to be the best at whatever he did. Matt was looking forward to this being his last deployment and moving back near where his family lives. He married his second wife, Carrie, on April 29th of this year and leaves behind a one-year-old son and two kids from a previous marriage. He had a lot of love in his heart and he was proud of his country. He was a great father. He had never stopped loving his children. The Mills family will fly to Dover Air Force Base in Delaware tomorrow. That's where Matt's remains will be flown in on Thursday.